Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today we're going to do my TBR for the Contemporary-a-thon. The Contemporary-a-thon is a readathon that is running from February 10th to the 16th. It is hosted by Chelsea at Chelsea Darling Reads, Julie at Pages and Pen, and Natasha at My Reading is Odd. They will all be linked in the description box below. Essentially it's a week to read a bunch of contemporary novels which Prior to joining booktube and doing this readathon, I never really did before. I've been collecting a lot of contemporary books and I'm ready to get to them, so let's get to it. I have the hiccups. It's great. Highly recommend. The first challenge is to read a book with green on the cover and for that I'm going with the Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams and it's got green right here. <laughs> This book is about a guy who I believe is on a football team and he's having issues in his marriage and the other guys on the team kind of recruit him into this bromance book club where the guys read romance novels to help them understand their wives better and help their relationships. And that's all I know and that's really all I needed to know. The next challenge is to read a new to me author and for that I will be reading Rafe by Rebecca Weatherspoon. I don't know a whole lot about this book but I do know that it is a buff male nanny novel. It has something to do with Rafe being a buff male nanny and I am reading it for another book club so I'm just kind of putting things together here and we're going with it. The next challenge is to read a diverse to me book and for that I'm choosing to read Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This book follows a girl who has lived her life with a chronic illness and kind of hid from the world and she has a near death experience. Makes her want to change the way she lives her life so she moves out, she moves into this apartment, she gets a really cute handyman to help her get a life and I need to read this. I still have the hiccups. The next challenge is to read a backlist title and for that I am reading Not Now Not Ever by Jillian Anderson. This one was published in 2017. I've had it on my shelf since I think 2018. I don't remember a whole lot about it but I do know that it follows a girl whose parents are divorced and they send her to like a or she runs away and goes to a summer camp and she's trying to like create a new life for herself and things don't go according to plan also in the vein of adding other book club books into this challenge. The next challenge is to read a dark or hard-hitting book and for that I will be reading The Other People by CJ Tudor. And I don't know what that book is about but I do know that it is the book club pick for Kayla at Books and Lala's Literally Dead Book Club and I need to read it so I'm just again putting things together. Next is to read a book with an illustrated cover and for that I chose Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. This book follows two teens named Pepper and Jack whose families own rival grilled cheese food trucks and it involves I believe a hate to love romance for teens. And the final challenge is to read a book that is beloved by a community member and for that I really tried to pick something that I already own because I am trying to go through my massive TBR. So for that I ended up choosing Everything All at Once by Katrina Leno. The community member that I know that loves this book is Chelsea at Chelsea Darling Reads who is one of the co-hosts for this readathon so does it do me a lot of good to shout out someone that is already being shout out in this video? Probably not but it was the first thing that came to mind when I looked at my shelves and was trying to find something that I already own to use for this prompt. So here it is. So these are some of the books that I plan to read during the contemporary thon Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be participating in the contemporary thon and if you're going to be posting a TBR because I want to see it. Are you vlogging the week? I haven't decided yet if I'm going to or not. I may, I may not, I'm not sure. If you are, I would love to watch it because I like to watch vlogs of people. I fail at vlogging typically. I usually try and then by day three I just give up. But I mean, why not? That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!